Hi everyone, I hope everybody is doing fantastic. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, mega tool haul from Jack's Shed. Now, before we start, Jack has set up a YouTube channel and the it's gonna be um, a link to it in his uh, description box. He's done his first video today um, and he's done a car boot tool, tool haul or flea market tool haul. And you should see the amount of stuff he's actually got. So go over there subscribe and you can see how much i'm overpaying for stuff when i go to the car boot he really gets bargains so without further ado we'll get into jack's uh tool haul so before we start uh jack i've put your sticker i'll show you where i've put it i've put it on my uh, medicine cabinet there we are jack your pride of place on the first aid cabinet so every time i cut my finger i'll know where you are all right jack thanks for that mate Right, Jack, that's pride of place in the medicine cabinet. Well done, mate. So if anyone else sends me a sticker, that's why it'll end up on the cabinet. Um, thanks, Jack, uh, once again. And everybody, go over to Jack's channel, say hello and subscribe. And if you like my videos, you'll definitely like Jack's because he gets better stuff than me. Right, so without further ado, um, this is the mega tool haul. Um, um, we've got some absolutely amazing stuff. First, um, I thought those were initials, the BR, but it actually stands for British Railway. So somebody has um, pinched that or it's warped from British Railway. So thanks to who told me that in the, in the descriptions. And also the chap who said this is L-N-E-R and it stands for London North Eastern Railway. So these two are Railway Arna. So I didn't know that. So thanks very much for you pointed that out. Um, so we got some amazing stuff and there's some fantastic things like this uh, Reco um, Stanley 92 shoulder plane, which is a very nice thing indeed. Um, Jack picks up some fantastic stuff. So when we were having a deal, I piled up a big pile, you know, about this much here. And I said, how much for, how much for that, Jackie? And he looked at it and he went, it's got to be 100 quid, that one or a ton as we call it in the UK um, and there was a few bits on the side he said what are you thinking for the other bits and I said what 50 or 60 pounds 70 pounds he went yeah so basically it was like 160 pounds say and then he had this one I said are you going to sell me this one Jack and he said oh I don't really want to I said what happens if I offer you a large amount and, he, and, and maybe you might sell it me. He went, well, how large is the large amount? I said, maybe £50. He went, ooh, I'm not sure I do like it. I said, how about this, Jack? I give you £100. So basically, it was I said, 260 quid for the lot, but throw in the spanner. And I think he realised the common sense prevailed and he uh, accepted. Now, well, really, I wasn't giving him £100 for this in my mind because I thought he undervalued the stuff at 100 I thought I wanted to be fair to him. Even if he's paid a really low price for it, there's a lot of effort, there's a lot of time, and there's a lot of skill which goes into, you know, hunting it down. You know, it's not free to go drive out in the middle of nowhere and petrol and all the rest of it. And then when I left... He said, have you not seen the little snap-on thing in the drawer? Did you not miss it? I said, what snap-on thing? He went, the little snap-on uh, breaker bar. Now, he had a socket on it like this. Now, somebody said it's for a different thing, but it's kind of cool. And it's it fits a 3 8 um, um, yeah, half-inch, is it? Yeah, half-inch socket. So, it's a half-inch bar. Now, I'm not sure if it is a breaker or not. But whatever it is, it's very cool. So I said, do you want £10 for that, Jack? He went, yeah. So I think that's worth £10. I think it's very cool. And in the UK, we don't have it. So I give him 200 I think it was £260. Um, and then I give him an extra £10 for this. So it was £270, which I think is a fair representation of the value of his effort to collect all these items. I mean, I could have bought them for 150 or 160 or whatever. But you have to think there's a lot of effort. He's probably painted these two vices as well. Um, and there's a lot of effort in collecting them, you know. And I think like this one, for instance, I've never seen this before. So I think that's a very, very rare little poly wrench. So I was super happy. Um, and to be honest, when you go to the flea market or the car boot sale, 
you're lucky if you you come home with one good thing you know and he it was like going to a thousand car boots inside a shed and i enjoyed it it was a nice trip out for me so thanks again for letting me uh, go around your workshop jack and letting me pick a few just a few of your uh, amazing collection i'm hoping to go back again to take uh, jack if i can find it um wherever I put it um jack collects these um little hand vices so i'm going to give jack this bridgeport usa one because it's kind of cool and he's not got a bridgeport so and if you look there jack there's an arrow it looks like an arrow so that might be a war war time as well i'm not sure but yeah so i'll give you that jack next time i go around because i've already got one of those so i don't need to so basically it was 270 pounds for the job lot and there's 22 or 23 items which is only like 12 pounds an item and most of these items are very rare and if you bought them on ebay you'd have to pay postage so i was very happy with that 12 or 13 pound an item or whatever it worked out at so we've got one winner today who guessed an amazing guess and that was uh, P uh pendino pendino i think i'm saying it right so you were the closest by far i feel sorry for uh central handyman ian you were really close mate 250 um but he he was two two six five so he just nipped you but um that was fantastic uh guessing well done in fact ian i'll tell you what i'm gonna do because your guess was so good and nobody else's was was uh, anywhere near i'm gonna give when i can find you essential handyman i'm going to give you a cross i'm going to give you one for best guess because everybody else guessed like 100 or 110 or there wasn't many close guesses but i'm going to call essential handyman the official runner-up because it was also an excellent guess um but well done to uh pendino you're on the book now and you've got two 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 crosses so well done to you thanks to jack don't forget to go to jack's channel and watch his video of what he bought this morning which he got some fantastic stuff he got um oh, i don't want to say what he got but he got some really cool stuff um and don't forget to subscribe thanks to everybody who watched um the video and getting this far don't forget to leave a comment all right have a good night bye